basically just put a metal blade in that and chop them off. Point it at me. These are over a year old. I bought them for Father's Day, I think. I can't even remember, it's been that long. Oh yes. It's currently Friday, seven o'clock, and I've had enough. I just want to go home. Right, next morning. So, as you know, we got that much done. We're gonna get that tidied up now. Robbie's already here. So I think, I'm not sure if Dad mentioned it or not, but their plan is to turn that into a French door, I believe. So, we've just been spending the morning clearing up our mess that we left there for them. So, yeah, so while they do that, we're gonna hope that these steels arrive. So we're just going to uh, get ourselves as prepped as we can before they arrive. Obviously Dad did all that work here, knocking, getting this one loose and ready. I'm just going to deal with this issue. But yeah, let's make ourselves busy and do what we can. Get them steels propped properly. That's one major thing we need to do. And just um, get the rest of that wall down. So enough messing around, I'll get you on time lapse. So, <laughs> I'm going to take you up to the uh, front now because these bloody monster steels have arrived. So, we're going to try and do our best. We've got the Robbie's uh, support. And Rob's moving the van. Senior Robbie is taking the window out. So, the window's coming out? Yeah. So, rather than taking it around the side with all the obstacles, yeah. we can straighten it out a bit. So, first thing is getting them on the drive, and then Robbie's taking the front window out so we can get them for the front then. So, like Dad said, we're not messing around trying to wheel it around to the back because you can wait till you see him. I'll take you around now.
pedal to this board, yeah? Yeah. 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 No, they're just there to make it heavier. They're just put on to make it heavier. He's got it. That's one. I'm 
matter where you put them. Do you pass me or not? You missed the shot when I pushed That way we can. Which way? You're that way. Okay. Okay. Right, one o'clock update. Just got back from lunch. I'm sure I'll show you all this. These ridiculously large steels. There's the plate, which is going to take this steel, which goes across onto this wall, roughly through there. There it is, there. Nice little one over there. Because that, it's, it's so big, because that is going to take a timber that goes up into the loft support the purling, the roof purling. That's why these steels are so big. And then this thing's going back in once we've took it out and that's going to be welded to this somewhere. Not sure where yet. Uh, what else we got? Oh yeah, we had these stupid tubes put on which was sticking out 70 mil, so we had to have steel away from the wall. The steel's already 150, so our steels are now 11 inches off the wall, which means we're struggling to get the strong boy over the top to, to attach to that steel. So basically, we put a metal blade in that and chop them off, just one left to do. Just the, the reason being, you explain that it's just they're going to be. Yeah, the, the, the steels are 150, so tight together it's going to be 300. You can see that that's not 300. So um, these are going to be oversized anyway. They're going to fit on side those pillars. Going to fit on the pillars easy, but um, it's just a, a jockeying round. And another issue here is that's the course we're working to. And then we're coming down 260, which is about here. That course there is, I'd say 50 mil above this wall plate, this uh, this beam, which goes right across full width. So we can't physically prop that course. So as Robbie suggested, he said, knock a pocket out and put some more of these on here. So we're gonna have to knock a hole out, put one in there. Put one in there. Probably about the, another six, I think. You know, maybe four, it's not as big an opening. One, two, three, four. We could probably get one in there, actually. But, um, yeah, we're going to have to go and get some more of these. And let these do the work on the back. And then so Alex has already propped. Yeah, Prop there. And then it's on the wall there. So that's it. Feeling a bit down at the moment, as but, um, it is what it is. As I keep saying, we're into it. We're in it now. So we've got to finish it. Thursday 13th of April, quarter past two. So here's your quarter past two update. We've definitely got plenty of acros. So, there's our brackets. Six brackets fixed into the timber. 
timber supported there, timber supported in the middle by that acro there, and then also supported there with that acro. So that's that timber, that timber supported up there. Yeah. Um, Alex has got this in here. Yeah, look, he's, this one still goes through, doesn't it? Yeah, um, we've discovered this steel sits on here 400, but the extension is, is it 150 narrower? 100, I think, that's 300. So that's further back than that. So we've got our 300 seat in there, but when you get on this side in the original house, it's 400, so it's 100 mil different. So hopefully that's going to go into the cavity on the extension part. So. The extension part is propped. Now what we have to do now is um, this side's propped. So basically three quarters of it's propped, isn't it? Yeah. So what I need to do now is Robbie's idea is to start knocking pockets out of there and start putting these brackets in along here underneath the brickwork. They're not going to reach the brickwork. It's a cavity wall. Oh yes they are, they are aren't they? What do you mean? Yeah, forget that, yeah, um, it's, forget that. So yeah, we're going to start po knocking pockets out of here, both skins, inserting these brackets in as we go, and as we go, strong boy, so we're going to probably get four in this side. Um, I think the electric's all dead, but uh, we're going to have to get this down with the wire going through it, that's got to be taken out, so we can get the steels up. Unfortunately, the robbies have just gone because they they worked up for today. And they're picking up some. They're gonna go to pick up some stuff. Make a lovely job of that. Some trims and stuff. Which doesn't help us because we needed them to get the steels in today because Alex isn't here tomorrow. So hopefully we can manage with three of us tomorrow. Three of us is still better than two, isn't it? Alex has got hospital appointments at ten. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. uh, all I know is I can't, can't eat. Can't have your breakfast. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and sleep till point nine o'clock then. What is it? Is it an endoscope? Is that what it is? With you look, looking in your side of your stomach? Yeah. <clears throat> Camera down the... If you ever seen the Blue Man Group, you'll know what I mean. One of them. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's... But pretty much that's this afternoon's job now. Alex, tidy up. And let's just get these last few pockets in, out. Get this all propped. Ready for these big bad boys going in. The 260 by 150. They're freaking huge, aren't they? And they're heavy. Very heavy. Actually getting them in wasn't too bad, which you've already seen through the window and everything. And luckily there's room to manoeuvre them in, because so, you've always got to get them in before you put your acro props up, otherwise you have a job then, won't you? Mm -hmm. So that's enough waffle, Alex is going to start tidying up. Just sit. The only thing is now, the Robbies have took the keys so we can't open that door, and we can't open that window because there's no key for that. So we haven't got much ventilation, so we're just trying to keep the dust down. For now I'll can. just take all the bricks in, and then near the end I'll... Um do all the dust. I'll do the dusty part, yeah. Right, and I'll start doing this. Just be ready on hand, ready for propping. Do you know something? These steels, I think these are the same size we put in Gary's. Oh, no. Garage conversion, remember them? I remember. Yeah, there's only two of us on that. If you want to see that nightmare, <coughs> click with, the banner. Yeah, with the stairs in the way. Yeah, I remember. Different floor levels. <coughs> um, that was when we used hop-ups and just kept putting blocks and blocks and blocks. The, these are the new these are the new hop ups that Alex got me. New pointed at me. These are over a year old. I bought them for Father's Day, I think. I can't even remember, it's been that long. And you refuse to use them? Yeah, because the other ones are still going. I don't like using new stuff and I've got stuff yeah, that's still But worked. these ones are a lot safer because they've got the uh, automatic locking mechanism. The snap in. Go on, do it so we can that noise. Let's get a chunk in there. Yeah, but make it very satisfying. So you've got our other ones which have like a really crappy fold on, then you've got these, you've got the nice... Oh yes. Might put a slow-mo on that bit. Turn it into a clunk. Oh yes. Cheers. Let's do this.
How are we supposed to prop that up now? YouTube. Can you hear me now? Right, what time's it, Al? I don't want to look. It's not that late. Ten past five. Ten past five, and as you can see, there is a hell of a lot of props in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three on the other side. Supporting this big main beam. Might just put a couple more under that because they're not in the way. But we need them for the steels though. Um, how many have we got? We've still got three. Three. So. Could be four if we've got ten used. Yeah, we've got four. So, just so awkward. I, I don't think you saw it on this time lapse or not, but if you look up there, We've gone right up there, too high, an extra course. Mm. And you can just make out the brackets I've put in and every, every, every other brick. So in between I've put the grabbers in and just to stop the uh, loose bricks falling in between. So everything there is held with brackets fixed to the, I don't know what, what that's called, wall, wall plate, I don't know. That's a big chunk of timber which spans side to side of the, of the extension and those brackets are basically holding everything up above and then we've got the acros to just to take the weight and distribute the uh, the forces down this was really hard because as i said this was cast concrete so that took probably half an hour longer than it should have been should have done and when i keep going about grabbers it's one of those don't know the exact name for them but they're little hex screws and what they do is um, you drill a six mil hole straight into brickwork and then they go straight into the six mil hole they don't need, they don't use a plug so they actually well if you like grab onto the actual brickwork um, window fitters like using them because they grab hold of the frame as well so you're into the brickwork and then the thread goes right to the top so it grabs the frame and grabs the brickwork so it holds everything steady but that they're just nice long screws that I've put right in, sorry, on the brickwork. The brackets are doing the work and then the little grabbers in between. There we go. There's one there and another one there, little shiny ones. Another one there. So what they're doing is just stopping the loose bricks falling in between because if they go any higher then we can't physically get the bricks back in. Because um, as I said, I'm on my own tomorrow. Well, Alex is near, but Robbie and Robbie are here, so hopefully we'll, between the three of us we'll be able to get these lifted in and and put into position with the, acro, with the spare acros. At least one anyway. And get that patched up. So, still a lot of work left yet. All this, all this is extra work. None of this was expected. None of it. So, um... There's one of our new acros, sorry, one of our new strong boys. And another one's down there. I've got them from Selco. So, tidy up time and get out of here. It's all propped up safely and there's nobody in the house, so. Oh yeah, and then tomorrow, basically that's to come out and hopefully we'll be able to squeeze that into the top of the skip. 
So this man's ready for home and his day off tomorrow. Barely a day off. Well, no, going for the, uh, the old scope. So he's going to tidy up while I get all the tools packed up and then we're going to scoot. So yeah, I will, I will see you in the morning. And we're back. Robbies have just arrived. I'm on my own. Alex is off to the Aussie today. Give you a quick look. <coughs> this is where we stopped yesterday. So that's more or less ready for the steel. This end needs a bit of fettling. And then obviously all this needs dropping out and skipping. We're all propped up. Everything's still where we left it, thank God. So the big push is get these steels in today while there's three of us. Um, I've actually brought the laser level and the measurer, the laser measurer, to make sure we parallel the steels up and to get it all level. The laser level is going to be a big help today, so I'll show you that when we set that up. So let's get my tools in <coughs> and get cracking. Light first. Okay. Alex is currently en route to the hospital and it's 11 minutes past 10, Friday the 14th of April. So, prep work is ready. We've got a scaffold ready to go in. Right, quick update. Jeremy's on, he's been on a while, so 25 past 12, still a lot to do. The, um, the laser level's come in really handy. So that got uh, the, uh, you've probably seen it on the time lapse, but I used the laser level to work off that. That was our, that, that was our lowest point there. Sorry, where am I pointing, where am I pointing? there? Lowest point there, so that's what the steel is up against. So it's tight to that middle. Then we leveled it and then struck a line with the laser level. We just there we go. Transferred all the levels. So that was top of steel. Bottom of steel, pad stone. So as you can see, this is too high. But that got all our heights. So this middle one is in position now. It's currently held up on the two acros in position. And I am breaking up along the top. This section here is just splits. Does, it can be anything there because the steel is self-supporting because it's supported at both ends. So I'm halfway through that. I'm just about to cut some more. 
but I'm going to use the sabre saw, not the sabre saw, the sawzall, just to rip down that fiber light, the, the flame light block. And once I've done that side, I can jump on this side. Which is a bit rougher, but I should be able to get full bricks under there. Let's see up there. And that's it. three rubs have gone all the heavy lifting is done and all the messing about stuff to do Give me a there. Still a brick up there. look at the shape of that red steel that was a bang on tubes are a waste of time because they're getting bolted up tight like that I need to knock out this get the pad stone set same this end get the pad stone set this end and then we're going to be coming back Sunday, me and Alex together, and um, get this packed up, mortared up, ready for the acros to come out. And then um, hopefully, once I've done the pad stones, I might just get a little bit of patching done in between the acros to just hold all that lot up. Then the strong boys can come out and then just patch the holes. Then we've also got that to punch out, so that's going to end up needing a lintel, a new lintel, and pad stone for this steel that goes up here and that also needs a pad stone going in for this steel that goes back in here so still a lot to do it's half past three I'm just about to go and have my dinner absolutely done in so so far we're two days over what we thought it was going to take it's just it's the this is the worst one I've ever done without a doubt nothing nothing straightforward we can't prop anything properly um, I know you have those prop pile things but to take, do the, use the prop piles you have to take the roof off the extension I've never used them before either so it just wasn't an option so oh yeah I've got to take that out as well and tidy up there's probably still a full day left on this all all unforeseen stuff that we didn't know so we'll just have to speak to the customer about it We'll let you know how we get on. But yeah, look at all the acros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Three are holding the steel up. Three are on the beam on the other side. And the rest are on this side with the strong boys. So the main thing is get get that patched in. So that, that steel's held. Same this end. Get this all patched up so all this is held and then patch a few holes but like I say it's half three I need something to eat so it's going to be four o'clock before I even get back in here so I did say to Chris it's going to be a late one and um, still waiting to see how Alex got on I missed his call before 
so yeah I'm going for some dinner back again half four this is ridiculous look at that solid cast concrete into the cavity all the way down every pad stone has done the same it's just ridiculous so I've been trying to get it with the almond bolster it's just not happening so I'm about to go and get the breaker so I'm going to try and get this out I need to get the pad stones in today luckily it's just brickwork at that end so it's not going to be as, as hard but yeah it's ridiculous just have another moan but there we go let's get the uh, breaker going and get this bloody bit out quick update <clears throat> one pad stone in patching up done just let me show you obviously I couldn't take any steel out see the bed steel it's our gap at this end look at the level just get close to that make that up yeah. That goes from about three inches to probably about an inch and a half to two in the middle. So yeah, I'm gonna get this other pad stone in and patch around this side and then I'm gonna put it on that end and try and get a piece in this just this end so this is supported and then throw my gloves in the bin later. Mini outro. Pad stones in. That end blocked up, so that's safe. That piece of block is in there, so that's safe. This is all the loose part. So I couldn't get these bits in. Ran out of water. And even had to hand mix a bit to finish this lot off. So there's not much to do really here. It's a very thin there we go it's a very thin gap getting thinner down to next to nothing so it'd be just be a big bed of mortar at this end there's, there's actually no need to fill that gap in because the steel supported on the steel there and it's supported there so it's just spanning it's doing nothing the state that steel above this steel is doing the work so it's it would actually be better not to put any pressure on this because this is taking the that's going to end up taking the purling upstairs. I'll still fill it in and then obviously just do the patching in. So there's not actually a lot to do there, but we've still got this to do the steel to reinsert against this steel. 
and this I've had a look at it and where it lands is about here so I'm going to pick up a 1500 6x4 concrete lintel take that timber lintel out and put the 1500 across and it comes to about here so that'll, last, that'll act as a pad stone at this end and it transferred down onto all this, this solid brick wall so yeah it's a big, uh, big lintel to go in there so there's, there's probably a day's work left for me and Alex yet that to come down tidy up so I'm signing out for now but we will be back on Sunday it's currently Friday 7 o'clock and I've had enough I just want to go home so catch you back here on Sunday morning